If you have 30 people at a party, how many handshakes are there going to be? Well, first of all, this is an outdated question. Hashtag COVID-19. But let's humor it anyways. So person one is going to have 29 handshakes because he or she or they are going to shake hands with everyone else, not including themselves. But then at that point, the next person, person two, only needs 28 more unique handshakes because they don't handshake, handshake with themselves. And we've already counted the handshake that they made with P1. Person three needs 27 more handshakes because they're not gonna do it with themselves. We've already counted their handshake with person one and person two. You can probably already see the pattern here, we need 30 people and the number of handshakes that are remaining to be done by each successive person is going to lower each time. So what we have here is 29 plus 28 plus 27 plus 26 all the way down to plus 4 and 3 and 2 and the one final handshake. Cool, shall we do that on our calculator together? That actually sounds really annoying. I don't think I wanna type it all, all at once. Boy, I wish there was a shortcut. Well, there are two shortcuts. First, what you might notice if you were adding up all these numbers together, 29 and one add to 30, 28 and two add to 30, 27 and 3 add to 30. So you can keep creating pairs that add to 30 as long as you work your way into the middle here. The question is how many pairs of numbers are there? Well, we started at 1. We got up to 29. So whatever half of 29 is, 14.5 pairs of 30 each. Cool. 29 times 30 divided by two, that gives me 435 handshakes. Nice, again, you could have done all of this adding all on your calculator, whatever, it's a free country. There actually is one other way to do it. It is called combinations, and combinations is a very specific math term, meaning arrangements or groups of things where the order doesn't matter. And what I mean by that is, it doesn't matter if uh, person one shook person two's hand or person two shook person one's hand. Those are the same handshake. So you have 30 people and you are trying to figure out how many combinations you have of two each. Your calculator will do this for you. And it's a little complicated of how it would work, but 30, I have a button for N, C, R right here. That's the number of things you're arranging and R is how many you're choosing for each group. N, C, R, 30 people and you're choosing two at a time. How many ways are there to do that? 435, oh my, same number. Well, hey, I wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't have told you to do it that way if it was gonna get you the wrong answer, right? When have I ever steered you wrong? I haven't. Best of luck.